my friends, welcome to the show. And this is the show. And what a beautiful show it is. Here's some of the most beautiful Indian architecture around that mostly no one knows about. And so I gave you the name of the town there. And I was tipped off by a friend at the Gabriel Traveler's Show. And, um, you tell me what you think this is here. And, uh, it's painted on the inside. You see a lot of little lookouts and turrets up top. Lots of, uh, lots of uh, technology going on up top. For sure. Antennas everywhere. He's traveling through this little town in central northern uh, India, and um, it used to be the cap capital of the area. You know, and uh, look at this. Even just built into the ventilation and whatnot. There's the uh, swastika all right so that i mean i think these people see it but they don't see it they don't have eyes to see it like we see it like we see every single thing here they don't even look into this they just see it all the time i'm assuming wow and uh what you know what could be considered a port mold of some sort for sure so this is all uh, indian that I just took right off Google Maps. Now here, check this out. There's benches and then steps, I guess, going up here, perhaps. But this looks like a device, don't you think? What's the purpose of that? Water? Why would you have steps going? Is there a door over on this side? I took a quick look at these photos and then holes in the ceiling missing I think what we're missing here are these holes the beams the beams the beams coming out the wooden beams that's what I'm thinking you're gonna see that a little bit more here. look at this stuff down by the room just to I'm not brave enough to go there I must admit when I was in Thailand they're like why don't you just go to India and then go to Europe I'm like, what? No, 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 no. Going back to Japan. So, uh, the, the cables. I'm just looking at the electricity thing. Now, he's going through all these old gates when he's traveling. Now, this is just a shot that I took off the uh, Google Maps thing. Not maps, but you know the the round one. I'll show you the I'll show you the app right here. Google Earth. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Google Earth, right? Okay, so these are the gates, and I think this is just ornamental. These little clay, they're like bells, but they're just for show, just for show. But look at all this. Do you think this is just for show? It's just, just, just for the show. Used to be the uh, Parliament buildings. You know what? Go back one. This could be amplifying the electricity down the line. Bam, bam, bam. Bam to the bam to the bam to the bam. There's the same thing. Oh, go back one. Did we see the busted columns? Oh, no, it's not. It's just a gate. Now, do you think they actually built like this? Or is this cooked up? It has good color. This is not the way to build. You want a certain percentage of this cement between your bricks. And these aren't bricks. These are like flattened out. I don't know what happened here. But those aren't bricks. And these are closer to bricks than over here. Whatever. I'm not there to. But this would not be stable in an earthquake. No, 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 no. All right, getting on with it. 
I love this type of, uh, it's like the top of a cake. You know, you pull the top off that glass cake. Shwing, and you get a piece of cake. Here's the second gate, is this third gate maybe, whatever. Goats. But just built into it. This served a secondary purpose, I think. Cables and whatnots. Here, this is why I'm saying this just ornamental. It just seems to be popping out. Japanese have something very similar to that. And the Chinese, obviously. Orcha. Orca? Orcha. There's the pin. There it is. It's not easy to get to. South of uh, New Delhi. You gotta take a rickshaw over to the town. Look at this dude. He was checking him out. <sighs> okay, but that's not a, maybe that is a flag all wrapped up there. I was looking at that one. It looks like a skewer of chicken skewer. Anyway. Antennas. Look at that. Antennas. All the way around. Probably missing the big one on top, I think. And color popping out. Here and there, if you look closely, there's blue and reds and this used to be painted some crazy colors. It's got grass growing on the uh, roof. Gabriel says he just arrived. Mostly his show that I saw was him arriving. I didn't really even get any uh, shots off of him. I, this is all my own research. Look at the antennas right up there. For the free energy. Distribution. There's another one here. Maybe a fountain. I can see that being true. Right in the middle of a river, but this is a canal system. Crazy. Look how beautiful that is. Wooden doors. Is that what I'm seeing? With the special cake covering, the glass cake cover tops. Schwing. What's your favorite kind of cake? Put it in the comments. There's another one. I'm going with Black Forest. That's what I had for my birthday. But my wife makes it for us. And it's just essentially whipped cream with very little sugar, which we do it ourselves. The chocolate cake and the cherries. Just cherry filling. Simple and delicious. And cherry filling comes in a can. You can just, you can't even miss. It's so good. God, thank you for Black Forest cake. Or any kind of combination thereof. I love rum balls. Rum balls, rum balls, rum balls. I don't know what brought that out of me. But, okay, these, these buildings are like glowing. Look at this. Antenna free energy action. And the color's popping out. It's like it's been sandblasted. Probably has. It's been sandblasted. And I'll show you why. Look. Red and blue and those are, that's like an ink process probably. I don't know how they applied that, just paint. But how come it all came up? Shoddy workmanship. Leave it in the comments. It's probably all chains and, and cable and all kinds of like uh, electricity bells and stuff up there. It's electrical. Cake top containers. What do you call those cake top things? Put it in the comments. All right. Now look at the floor. What's happening here? Steps down. Let me guess the, the uh, elites would have us believe this is for human sacrifice. I think it's missing some wooden pillars sticking out of these holes. Perhaps it was like a pagoda happening and um, a tent over top. 
And then you could go down into a swimming pool fountain. I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Considering I got 2,700 subscribers, I got 100 hits on these videos. You guys, come on. I don't want to shame you at this point, but this show packs a punch. And we punch above our weight class here, okay? Maybe I'm too cocky and I swear too much. So what? I'm going with the evidence. Cake top thingies. Look, more domes. Wow. This is right off, and this is not visited by a lot of tourists because it's off the beaten track, he says. And hard to get to, right? So that's why. And especially now is what I was going to say. With this tourist world over, maybe we should all just become tourists of the world and give up our citizenship. Here, the wall exists here where it was destroyed in India, uh, North America. It's the same wall you would have find everywhere. That's my assessment of it. Something like that we found all over North America, just like this. Looks like Disney World, don't you think? The technology, and it's just, uh, to, you know, whatever, the building techniques, whatever you want to call it. Look at this. I'd be happy to have that building in my city. And then what do you think this is? It's missing its roof. It's alongside of the canal. Look at that. And then it's got this huge lip on it down there. This is overgrown big time. I think the water dried up. There used to be a lot of water running through here. The river either dried up or was rerouted, as they say in Canada. Rerouted, eh? How do you say it in your country? Rerouted? Put it in the comments. I need to drum up some more. A few more subscribers up in here. Maybe I'm going for about the 5,000 mark. It's not a lot. I'm not asking for a lot here. So recommend me to the channel. I swear I'll stop swearing. I won't swear so much, okay? Deal. Now, blue up top there. Amazing stuff on the roof. That's all I'm saying. I'm go up there. Look at this. It's like out of a dream. As usual, I will post this stuff to my IRS Instagram because it's the only way I can just give you these photos without just emailing you and everyone. So you could go there and just check out these photos and use them in your own show. And just give me the credit for it, for finding and giving these to you. That's how it goes in our little community, okay? I think it just goes without saying. Sometimes even I forget. Or I don't know. Or I'm too lazy. Now here's the new well, and here's the old well. That's what I'm saying. Right along the river there. Wow. Almost looking somewhat Cambodian with these tops like that. It's halfway to Cambodia for sure. It's not far. It's a lot closer than what we are. The beautiful wooden doors and all this. Temple action, because look at the elephants. With the grass and the bell underneath the bell. And this is what I would call an ethereal bell. Pagoda, but it's an ethereal bell. A bell over top of another bell. There's our man, Gabriel. He tipped me off. This is just from the rooftop. These are from his show. Here he is on the ground just days ago. And our building's here. Walking around. He's gonna show, he's gonna show us. So go ahead, 
He'll probably be posting this today. And you can see him walk around these buildings. There's the riverbed from, oh, oh yeah, there's that house being built down there. The river looks to be dried up a little bit. There's a corner of the big building. And the stairs are melted. Melting. <laughs> bricked up is that a bricked up window or is that just a part of the facade they do this sometimes it looks like a window but it's bricked up okay now this is off the John show I'll just touch on this this is what I was looking at when he was showing us this photo that and up here what's this it's like mm, not sure what's going on there with that photo my daughter's walking into the room. What are you doing, Sophia? Do you want to say hi to everyone on the show? Hi. Do you want to say, welcome to the show? Welcome to the show. All right, now get out of here, you. <laughs> I'm almost done. These are the last photos. I'm just showing everyone something, I think. What was I going to show them? Oh, I just wanted to mention about these photos. Looking more like a canal here. See the side of the canal? But uh, it would be a street if there was uh, sewers or drainage or some sort of uh, sewer covers. Looking to be the side of a canal. Coming up like a Venice, Venetian building. And that's why the roads are dirt, I think. Cool. It's my assessment of it. So. And this here on the John Show, yeah, an I-beam coming in behind there, shoring it up. I found another one over here, laying down. So that would work with the masonry. You'd see the masonry would stick to that. Where did I see an example of that here? Let me just see. Um, it's used for masonry to have the bricks stick to something like this. It would be shoring up a wall here. See the bricks going up, and in behind the bricks, you'll find that slotted beam. You, they use it for drywall too. Um, the mutters and the tapers will shore up a corner with this kind of slotted. He's right, that's a heavy beam that's shoring up. Uh, there's the Baphomet symbol, if you didn't catch it. All right, guys, that's the show. Thanks for watching the show.